those tutorials how to use YMAX in Solemns. This is already assuming that you know how to import XMLs and export them from CodeWalker. Basically, you grab this land, whatever land you're going to use. You grab the Y map, you export both of those from CodeWalker. Now, if I wanted a prop, so let's say um, I don't have a sign here, billboard. Then I go to CodeWalker, search it. going to save all the textures just in case. Should be good enough. So now that that is in as an XML in my folders, this one right here, I'm going to go over to Blender and I already have the land, I already have everything else here. So after that, going to create my Y map. Going to hit entity. Stop with this. Don't forget to rename it. Um, HP test. So we already have that. Now I already have an asset library, but to import as assets, you hit B, import. Make sure you have assets selected. You'll hit whatever your asset is, and you'll import it. I already forgot the name, but it's something like Bill or something. It's probably this one without all the textures. Since it's a base game one, I'm not really too worried about it. So I'm going to drag it on there. It's already here, but since it's there, I'm going to change. Well, we'll do a couple things. So. Um, We also wanted some kind of bush in front of it. Um, this one. So we have both these. I'm going to select both of them. Go to drawables, create drawable objects separate. Since I have two of them selected, I'm just going to create, dr convert to drawables. Now we're going to put those wherever we want. Doesn't matter. Once they're in the spot that we want them, we will select each one. So I hold shift, drag it into entities, make sure they're both in there. Now you can export the Y map. And then of course to get it back to something usable, just drag it back into CodeWalker. Remember where you saved it. This one here. And as you can see, the billboard's in there. So I'm going to push. Go back to Code Walker. And I will bring my map into it. Since these are base game ones, I don't need a Y type. I don't need the props. If you have custom props, you'd have to put the YDRs and the Y type in here, or else it won't work. So they should be back over here, and here they are, and since it's a base game, it already has the props with the textures. And if you're not doing too many of them at a time, I do like to click each one and just kind of move it just in case. And then you want to calculate flags, calculate extents, and then you will save this, and I already have a stream folder ready for it. I'm going to save it in there. No. Why is it want to do that? Uh, well, I'll save it in there. Let's see if it saves. It is not saving. So we'll do save as. And I will save it in the order that I am doing this in. That's in there. Drag that in there, 
and then you'll want to generate a manifest. And as you can see, it has both a sign and has a foot. And we will save that. And that's pretty much it. We'll see if it works. into my test server just to test it. Nothing like waiting in queue for your own server. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go re- already out of location because of the looting horse spot but come back. Not on the ground because I didn't want to check. And there's no signs fine. If you have an issue where you don't see anything, unfortunately you have to click each one in the line map and code walker. actually move it and then you know just control Z it'll put it back to wherever you had it and uh, that worked for some reason I'm not sure what it is but usually if you create them as a drawable while they're in the Y map it won't work you have to then you'll have to move them if you create them before you put them in the Y map it should be fine and then move them in blender uh, that should work if you have questions you can always reach out to me